Welcome back to the channel. We are here for another episode of the Jacksonville Jaguars Road to Glory in the final game of the season. Now, I say the final game of the season, and by the final game of the season, I mean the final game of the regular season. We are not done yet. We were definitely going to be in the playoffs, win or lose this game. But we do have a bye in the first week as it stands we probably are going to need to win um, we will take a quick peek at the Patriots and see who they are playing see if that puts any more pressure on us uh, Patriots oh right here Ravens okay oh nope we're not going to force any wins here I don't believe the Ravens are in the playoffs, but let's take a quick peek. As it stands, without week 18 being complete, the Patriots are second, the Chiefs are third, the Steelers are fourth, the Bengals are fifth, Browns are sixth, and sneaking in is the Las Vegas Raiders. Over on the NFC, we have the Packers 1, the Cowboys 2, the Bucks 3, Seahawks 4, Bears 5, Panthers 6, and the Saints sneaking in as the 7th seed. So, we can't take this game lightly. This is this is not a bad team. I mean, as you see, they're 500, but <clears throat> with the slider change and everything, Every single game is going to be a fight for our lives. Um, if you haven't seen the sliders, we do all that at the end of the episode. And this is what we're sitting with on our side. And this is the buff that the uh, CPU is getting. <clears throat> Depending on how these games and playoffs go, we may look to you know, readjust them to make it even harder. You know, we don't, like I said, we don't want to be running through every game and just being undefeated. So, Davis Mills, who did not have a bad season in real life, and Randy Gregory, so t statistically, doesn't look like they're going to be a problem, but they do have Stephon Gilmore, and we know that me, a.k.a. Trevor Lawrence, likes to throw picks so he will be out in full force trying to knock us off the number one seed so let's get into this episode right up oh, oh, we got upgrade players first we need all the help we can get smooth so we get a nice little upgrade here um yeah, I don't, I'm not going to put him into the scheme fit. Um, he's a little too far off, and he's a depth player, so, you know, not that big a deal. Juwan Taylor getting a boost in overall to a 74, plus one awareness, plus two run block finesse, and a Luicon. Going to get some love here. He's now up to a 85 overall, plus three zone coverage. And let's just hop into the game. Definitely, definitely, definitely need to not get ahead of ourselves. We need to f stay focused on the Texans and not looking forward to the playoffs. Because we want that first round bye. That first round bye is huge. Because every game we play, <laughs> there is a very good chance that... I screw it up so if we can miss one game in the playoffs that would be great Christian Kirk at 1,000 yards at 1,100 yards so we're doing we're doing good let's see what the point toss is we are going to be kicking I feel like I feel like every game we've kicked like I miss I miss when you used to be able to call a coin toss and you know all that stuff. You just can't do it anymore. I don't know why. But James 
Mills going to trot onto the field. We'll see him for the second time this year. Asimo got his nice star under his name. Well deserved. That's going to be a nice tackle by Aluakon on Leonard Fournette. Probably wishing he stayed with the Jaguars right about now. Bringing out the dime package here. Oh, he's absolutely hurdled. Williams just hurdled Darius Williams for the first down. That was pretty sick. If we did that, that would be the screen grab for sure. But we don't want to see that. Nice tackle by Fatusaki to keep Leonard Fournette to only two yards. Single back, two wide receiver, two tight ends. It's a jet sweep. That's going to be a nice tackle by Andre Cisco. Keeping Fournette to only a yard on the carry. Our run defense has been pretty dang good, especially with how good the other team's blocking is. Is that oh, yeah. I think it is. Oh, that's mine. Picked by a Luacon. User pick. Kind of baited him into that. I mean, luckily, <laughs> Aluakon had the athleticism to recover. But um, my positioning was a little delayed here. I kind of, like, ran at him. I guess it was... I don't know what you call that. I mean, good throw? Not a good throw? I mean, obviously not a good throw. You should have let him more. But that's going to be the pick right there. We, we have really turned our defense around. Uh, the beginning of the year, it was kind of rough, to say the least. I think I was also getting back into the swing of Madden. But ETN has a lot of space. ETN up the middle. ETN will be brought down after a 19-yard gain. Jackson is setting up at the 15-yard line. First and 10, James Robinson checking in at running back. Nice blocking here. Robinson's got a lot of space, and he'll get seven. I mean, we may not have to throw the ball on this team. Our offensive line is making all the holes. Robinson going to be enough for the first down on a four-yard carry. Yeah, I, you know what? I may not throw the ball at all. Actually, you know what I am. Mean? They're bringing the pressure here. Uh, audible Pickens to a slant. Audible Kirk to a drag. And we'll have Pickett. Oh, my God. It was a terrible throw by Trevor. Oh, I led him. I led him. And Trevor Lawrence, doing what Trevor Lawrence does on occasion, throws it right to the other team. That's why I said we can't get too far ahead of ourselves. Asamoa going to make the stop on Fournette. He'll get three. We can't, we can't get too far ahead of ourselves here. We have to play this game. And I I made the wrong read on the, on the coverage. I really thought it was going to be a blitz. Zachary Carter on the tackle. Um, I mean, Trevor should have made that throw. But I made the wrong read. I thought they were coming with pressure, and they weren't. But, I mean, Pickens had a step. And Asamoah unable to bring down Fournette, but Fatusaki will. And that'll be another gain of three for the former Jaguar. I guess it feels like they don't have to run on us. Oh, they don't have to pass on us. Asamoah unable to bring him down, but Zachary Carter will finish the play, and Fournette will lose a yard. I tell you, Zachary Carter has really, really started developing here as a key piece to this defense. And it looks like he's going to reach and get it. <sighs> Shaq Griffin unable to keep Dokes from getting the first down. Got 
It's gonna be a read option. Oh my goodness, I went to kill him. Davis Mills gonna have seven on the read option. Man, if he does that again, oh man. We have to hit stick him and get the ball on the ground. That is an absolute must. It's gonna be play action, we're toasted here. It's all right, Cisco gonna make a play on the ball and that ball is intercepted. Come on, Cisco, turn the corner. And he's gonna get it to the 45. Andre Cisco with his third interception on the year. Big time right here. Nope, we don't really have anything. And Trevor Lawrence not going to be quick enough to get the edge. Just going to have to throw that one away. <clears throat> they look to draft a fullback. James Robinson is going to get the corner. And he's going to fight forward. And he'll have about 13. Nice run by James Robinson. <clears throat> I'm gonna take that. Christian Kirk is gonna have about seven, or <clears throat> seven on the reception. Good blocking up front. Robinson gonna have an easy first down. Keep, keep feeding the backs here. It's working for us. Oh, no blocking from Ben Barch and ETN. Going to get a yard. I mean, this is really just the offensive line that needs massive help. Oh, okay. Well, we weren't throwing it to Ingram, but Ingram was sitting right in the way. It was completed, so I'm fine with it. I'm fine with it. It's going to be good blocking by the offensive line, and Robinson will gain three. And James Robinson will get a gain of six. Bring up second and four, and the first quarter is in the books. It's, it's shocker, 0-0 zero, zero here in Jacksonville. Oh, Marsh, good block. ETN gonna get the first down. Probably five yards on the carry. James Robinson gonna cut it up field. And he'll get a gain of two. His cut was a little more dramatic than I wanted it to be. Kind of cut right into the defensive player. Robinson lowering his shoulder. He'll be in. Touchdown, Jacksonville. And Jawan Taylor is injured. Fantastic. Kicker's kick is up and good. And the Jaguars will take a 7-0 lead early in the second quarter. And this will be kicked into the back of the end zone, and Thomas will take a knee. <clears throat> Davis Mills and the Texans. Looking to have a little bit more success than they did last series. Okay. Big hit by Daxon Hill. Brooks will have 12 on the carry. Okay, we're going to have... I think that's Gronk. Picked the wrong hole. Big hit by a Luicon. Brooks gonna get about eight. The 
audible from Davis Mills to flip the formation. And that will be a completion to Williams. Oh, Mike Williams. We have the scene flying here. And that will be a tackle by Daxon Hill. Oh no, Fatusaki is down with an injury. Oh, luckily, Devon Hamilton's not that much of a fall off, but he's definitely no Fatusaki. And Fatusaki looking like he's heading to the locker room. They screen. And Aiden Hutchinson will link up with Tyson Campbell to bring down Brooks. Dislocated shoulder. Yo, 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 yo. Empty backfield, five wide. And that pass will be complete. Bills has 4,000 yards. Brandon Cooks with a nice sideline catch. Motion going to watch the Jets sweep. Asamoah hits and the ball's out. That's why he's a superstar. Asamoah punching the ball out. And that will be a turnover for the Texans. And Marvin Jones fighting off the wimpy tackler. He'll be down at the 40-yard line. Let's choose some clock here. See how this works. Have to take the easy catch. And Ingram going to have 12 on the reception. <laughs> right, okay. I see you out there. That's going to be completed to Christian Kirk down at the four yard line. Showing pressure. Come on, Barge. Give me a block. Nice. And ETN is in for the touchdown. And Jacksonville looking like the number one seed in the AFC. Kind of just piling it on turnover after turnover that results in points. Dicker will kick this one away. Actually, that's going to be really terrible. It didn't register my power meter to kick. Weird. Oh, no, no. No picks. No, 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 no returns. No, no returns. Yeah, Show us what you've got. Oh, no, I went for the hit stick. Luckily, Dokes ran back in to the traffic. He would have cut that out wide. That could have been very problematic. Big hit by Asamoa. And Dokes will get the first down, but what was it worth? He just got absolutely crushed. Big hit by Daxon Hill. We shot the wrong gap with Asamoa there. Thought it was going to be in between the guard and tackle. It wasn't. Come on, Hutchinson. What are you doing? And that's going to be a really weird sack by Haskell Garrett. That was Really interesting to say the least. We'll just leave it at that. And 
Nice tackle by Brian Asamoa, and that will bring up the two-minute warning and a manageable third and five, third and six. Press coverage here. Davis Mills changing the play. Oh my God, how did Gronk not get absolutely killed? <clears throat> that will be enough for a first down. Texans really looking to come away with points on this drive. And Darius Williams with the great coverage. It's going to force an incomplete pass. Second and 10, two tight end. Running back motioning out wide. It's going to be a quick throw to Gronk. Andre Sisko will work with Aluakon to bring him down. That'll be third and two. He's going to be short, right? He is. Penny comes up short. And it will be a field goal attempt for the Texans. Wish I would have called the timeout before 30 seconds just got ran off that clock. But, you know, you win some, you lose some, right? And the kick is up and good. And the Texans get on the board with three points. Give us a good return here. See if we can't make something happen. Maybe get three before the half. And ran right into him. We do have two timeouts, so... Let's see what we can get. <clears throat> I don't want to be too greedy and have something happen and that the Texans get extra points before the half. Oh, yeah, Christian Kirk wide open. He's to the 20, the 10, the 5, and he's going to score. That's incredible. Christian Kirk, 77 yards. One play, one touchdown. Of course, you can't score two touchdowns in one play, but, you know. 14 seconds off the clock. Did it register? Okay, it registered. So it's not going to be a terrible kick. Dicker will kick this about four or five yards deep. And Thomas will take a knee. So it's almost like the Texans shot themselves in the foot by scoring, giving us the ball back. <clears throat> Nice play by Zachary Carter. No one can get away from that man. Penny will get a yard. And that will be the end of the first half. Jaguars leading 21 to three over the Texans. And Woolen will return this at the goal line. And he will get up to the 29-yard line. And nice return by the rookie. Let's see, if we can, let's see if we can get him on play action. He should have Pickens sitting. But, oh, yeah, we got the linebackers. Uh, we had Christian Kirk, but I was rolling out. I didn't want to risk anything. We have a comfortable lead. No reason to shoot ourselves in the foot. Just throw it away. I know Kirk was running wide open. But ETN going to get the first down. He'll have 11. ETN fighting through the tackle, and he'll get two. Was in the backfield. Hit in the backfield and fought forward and gained a good two yards. 
Christian Kirk going to have the easy completion over the middle. <laughs> what do we want to do? I mean, Christian Kirk just destroys people. He'll take the easy completion to Evan Ingram, and he'll have about seven or eight. I mean, I don't want to say that the game is over and we've won, but ETN can get a nice chunk of yards for the first down. But, um... Yeah, I think I'm going to go ahead and say it. I think we've won this game. The Texans can't seem to get anything rolling offensively. And that's going to be wide open. Christian Kirk down at the 13, 20 yards. I mean, they are just letting him run wide open. Wide open. And ETN's going to run, and he's in. 13 yards, gaping hole. And it doesn't get any easier for that. And ETN adding another touchdown to his great season. Now, I think the first playoff game is going to be a real test to the sliders I think we should be beating the Texans I don't know if we should necessarily be beating them 28 to 3 but they're they're not that great they're 80 overall they've got a couple good playmakers but they have a young quarterback Asamoa gonna shoot the gap and he will bring down Penny after a one yard game Khan going to bring down Gronkowski, but not before he has a first down. Motion. Fate jets, jets, jet, I can't talk, jet sweep. And Penny going to get four yards. I don't know why that was so hard to say. Fake jet sweep. Fake jet Sweet. Motto on this channel, words are hard. Another fake jet. I can't, I can't say it. Hutchinson unable to bring him down, but that's all right because Daxon Hill forces a fumble and Shaq Griffin is going to take it to the house. Another defensive touchdown for this Jacksonville Jaguar team. I don't know why I can't say fake jet sweep when it's happening. Wow. Fake jet sweep. I say it like that. I say it just fine. But then, maybe I have to say it wrong because both times were pretty favorable outcomes for us. So maybe I just have to announce it like I don't know how to speak English. Who knows? Who knows? I'm going to run you over. You know, two uh, tight end sets, single back. It's a nice whip route. Nice play by Shaq Griffin on Penny, the running back. Knocking that ball out of his hands. Oh boy. I had an itch. I had an itch. That wasn't fair. Penny will have a four yard gain. Man coverage it up. It's gonna be a pick, Shaq Griffin. I mean, Davis Mills can't do anything right. Shaq Griffin gonna beat him. Beats Neil to the end, and a pick six for Shaq Griffin. Fifth interception this season. Yeah, well, this game is all but done. Forty-two to three. 
Jacksonville with a more than comfortable lead. And Thomas just taking a knee in the end zone. Coming out in the nickel package, Fournette finally back. I don't know what he was doing. We'll, we'll take that all day. Big hit by Tyson Campbell. We, we had to we had to pick check down or Gronk streaking down the middle of the field. I'll give up the the big gain to save a touchdown. And Asaboa gonna get into the backfield to bring down Penny for a loss of three. Samoa just missed Penny in the backfield. Penny will get a five-yard gain. Third down, Davis Mills with the audible. Empty backfield. And that's just a good play, but Cisco will knock Mike Williams out. But he will have a first down, and he just hit his thousand yards on the season. Hey, come on, oh, come on, oh. Hey, watch that, watch out. Oh, my goodness. Smith almost getting himself an interception. Yeah, I don't know what Davis Mills is thinking. But he is throwing it to all the teal jerseys today. That stop and go just absolutely destroyed me. Mike Williams trying to sh hurdle Shaq Griffin, but that's just not going to happen. This is third and three. And then our man coverage. And... Mike Williams going to have enough for a first down. Let's go, Let's go. And for being a scheme man-to-man -man team, we do not run very good man-to-man. -man. And I think that has a lot to do. Jenkins unable to bring him down. Penny running over another. Penny through another. Finally, can't escape the grasp of the big defensive end, Zachary Carter. Um, I think it's because of the sliders that we're just unable to keep up with them in man. Oh, Asamoa tried to jump in front of the pass to Fournette. But Fournette will catch it and be in for the touchdown. I don't know why I was going to say in for the points. In for the touchdown. Tariq Woolen unable to get there on the block and the Texans will close the gap a little bit Jacksonville 42 Texans 10 and Woolen will take a knee in the end zone and the offense will trot back onto the field ETN gets through that little tiny hole there, and he'll get 11. ETN having a heck of a day. George Pickens, nice catch and nice throw. His first target of the game. Christian Kirk has just been running free. And that is the end of the third quarter. And that much closer to the beginning of the playoff run for the Jacksonville Jaguars. We are indeed the first in the AFC, which I don't see why we wouldn't be. Um, we will go ahead and just sim 
Oh no, is James Robinson hurt? We'll just go ahead and sim the first week of the playoff at the end of the episode. Nice block by Sheriff. ETN trying to get to the edge. And he will. Unable to get around Stefan Gilmore. Big three tight end package here. And a poor block by Barch. I feel like we say that all the time. ACL sprain for James Robinson. It's tough. Uh, I think he's going to miss some time in the playoffs. Nice block by Sheriff. And ETN will have a gain of eight. ETN going to be dragging the defender forward. And he will get a nice gain of four or five. And that will be enough for a Jacksonville first down. McCormick checking in. That's a great block by Dan Arnold. McCormick has the speed. And he'll be brought down at the three-yard line after a monstrous 12-yard gain. ETN checks back in at running back. We'll get him a third touchdown here. And he just walks in. ETN, 100 yards on the game, on the game, on the day, on the game, whichever one you want, on the day, and three touchdowns. No small feat for a running back. Kick is up and good. The Jaguars take a 49-10 lead. That one a little short. Kind of wanted to see if we could maybe cause a fumble or at least bad field positioning. And we will do not really either of them. As Thomas will get it back to the 22 yard line. Williams unable to make a play on the ball. Brandon Cooks, a nice game. 16 yards through the air. Over 1,250 yards on the year. And Cisco gonna bring down Lazard, the former Packers receiver. I do remember the uh, Texans signed quite a bit of people in free agency. Asamoa just not fast enough to keep up with the tight end. Coming out of shotgun, bringing Penny back into the backfield. Trips to the left. And Brandon Cooks will have a completion. Brings the Texans to the 13-yard line. Come on. I'll lay down here. And Shaquille Griffin will save a touchdown as Penny will get 10 yards. <clears throat> screw it, screw it. We're, gonna, we're bringing the house. The house. And it doesn't matter. Leonard Fournette checks in and he will get another touchdown on the day. That will bring the lead down just a little bit, but not enough. The Texans are far, far, far away from making this a game. Jacksonville 49, the Houston Texans 17. Tariq Woolen gonna bring this one out. Come on, Woolen. 
Oh, this just, it isn't, it isn't um, NCAA. NCAA, you can, you can really have some electric kick returns, but I feel like you don't really get them in Madden. This ETN going to have a big gain. I'll put him at 115 on the day. Pick up by Sheriff on the linebacker. Gave us a little bit of time to get away from him. Three tight end, big jumbo set for the Jaguars. ETN will be brought down after a five yard gain. Set up third and two. And the rookie, the Cormick, will check in. A nice hole couldn't get away almost took it to the house but Joel will make the stop ETN going to spin to the other side of the line and he'll get eight yards what a great individual effort that will bring up the two minute warning I don't think that the Texans will be using any of their timeouts, and ETN will get a first down. I want to throw the ball. I know this is like not good. And Christian Kirk will be open. And I want selfishly, I want to get more yards for Travis. Or for Trevor. I don't know why I was thinking Travis and ETN. And ETN going to get a nice little scoop through the hole. And this Texans defensive line cannot stop Travis ETN. And let me tell you, this does not bode well for James Robinson. As James Robinson did not re-sign his contract. Or didn't accept the new deal and Travis Etienne has just been having an electric season and the Jacksonville Jaguars will hold on to win 49 to 17 over the Houston Texans you don't want to say easy as you like but it was fairly easy a nice com completion wow really 78.5, 78.5, 224 yards, and one touchdown for each quarterback. That's absolutely wild <laughs> that they had the exact same stats. That's that's wild. Now you get into the interceptions, that's a little bit of a different story. Eric McCoy, the center that we acquired with the Caleb on chase on trade, playing up to a 87. That's nice. Trevor Lawrence, finally getting some love. Um, we're going to go strong arm. Trevor playing up to a 87. We'll get plus three awareness, plus one throw under pressure. And Andre Sisco after his pick. We'll get an upgrade. He is playing up to a 76 with morale. Plus one aware, plus two man, plus one press, plus one tackle. And we will advance the week here. I think we are going to sit in the driver's seat of the AFC. <clears throat> Okay, we are. We do have the bye. So let's see how the playoffs are looking out. The Steelers and the Raiders will be playing, and we will be facing the winner of that game. 
and the Patriots and the Bengals and the Chiefs and the Browns. And over here we have the Cowboys and the Eagles, the Saints jumping up a rank, who slipped out. It was the Bears. Yeah, the Bears fell out. So the Bucks will be playing the Saints, the Seahawks will be playing the Panthers, and the number one seed in the NFC will be Green Bay. So we will sim this game, or this week. We'll see who we will be playing in the divisional round. The Raiders! The Raiders are going to knock off the number two. Why did that change? That's really weird. Okay. I'm intrigued. Did I read that wrong? I'm going to feel really silly when I look back on this video and I'm like, oh yeah, well, I just read that all wrong. So, the Jacksonville Jaguars will be playing the... Las Vegas Raiders and if you do remember that game that game was absolutely insane I think we were down three to four touchdowns we gave up three or four touchdowns in a matter of uh, I believe it was under two minutes right before half and then we came back to win in overtime that was the most insane game on the channel so far the Patriots will be playing the Browns the Packers are facing off against the Saints. And the Cowboys will be facing off against the Panthers. So, that will do it for this episode. If you made it this far, like, comment, subscribe. And if you're new here, welcome. My name is Earl the Turtle. Would love for you to join the family. Catch up on the series. It's been a lot of fun making it. And, um, yeah, we will just save all the other fun stuff that the playoffs have in store for us for next episode. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace.